Hi all, Plantside Agent here. Today I thought I'd shoot a video on uh, all of my uh, wood gasifier stoves that I have, my little collection here. And uh, <clears throat> so I think I'll start just, uh, just a quick overview of what I have. I have, uh, let's see, make sure I'm getting good viz here. Get too far back. There we go, anyway. I have the two homemade ones. I have the one that's made out of about a 15 ounce uh, can and a small mushroom uh, can. And then I have this one, which is the uh, made from a uh, paint can. Paint can and a uh, Progresso soup can, homemade. And I think this is just from another, the pot stands from another can. Anyway, and then I have the uh, Solo stove, stainless steel, very nice. And I have a silver fire, stainless steel, again, very nice. I'll go over all these in detail. And then last, I have an inexpensive, uh, I'm going to mispronounce this again, and oh, oh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Somebody corrected me once before, and I've forgot already, so um, I apologize to uh, people, Chinese speakers on the pronunciation, so... Feel free to butcher uh, my name. Okay, so uh, I'll go over each one of these individually. So let's go ahead and start with this uh, the smallest one here and the cheapest. <laughs> so I um, have to keep checking, make sure I keep everything in frame. Okay, this is the, uh, it's made from oops, two cans. Uh, it's also the cheapest and lightest. It weighs uh, three ounces or 85 grams. And it's made from, oops, this is the, <laughs> this is the one I soldered. Um, I made a second one that I didn't solder. I was going to pull it out. But anyway, it's got, real quick, uh, on these, the, these two homemade ones, I do have videos on. And I'll go ahead and uh, put links to those videos on, on these stoves. I've made several different videos. Anyway, yeah, it's got a 15 and a half uh, pull top. Uh, can and then inside uh, I had a uh, it's a mushroom can. I got one here handy. Ah, come on, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, it's just a mushroom again. It was a pull top, so they they just fit inside each other very nicely. And like I said, it's a uh, I did and then this is made from a bottom of another can because it's got the little lips in here so it, it sets on there really really snug so anyway I'm, I got a whole review on these stoves I won't go any further uh, next is my uh, paint can stove again and it's uh, you take the paint can you cut the bottom out and then you can put the Progresso soup can in there I've got some uh, hardware cloth base with the holes and this is another can it sits on top and uh, I use, uh, this is an older one, I use thicker, but I, I use, now I use coat hanger for the pot stand, so. And uh, just to show you real quick here, yeah, this one will fit a fairly small, this is a 20 ounce uh, aluminum pot by Ollie Camp, and of course it fits on there very nicely. Okay, same with this one. Yeah. I had to make the trivets for it because a smaller one would never fit a pot on there. So that's that one. Okay, next. This is the uh, solo stove. Oh, I didn't give any weights on this. I'm sorry. Uh, this one complete with... Uh, now, I keep, uh, now, when you make this, you cut the bottom of the paint can out. So I kind of use this as a ground to kind of protect the ground from the heat of the stove and any fire. And of course, then you have the lid to the paint can, which I use because I'll put the trivets inside and, and use some fire starter and that sort of thing. Make a little bit of a kit out of it. And of course, the, uh, the uh, pot stand fits nicely underneath here when you're uh, storing it. So just real quick on that. And it weighs seven, all this together weighs 7.7 7 ounces. And uh, that's... 218 grams. Okay, this is the solo stove. This is the light version with the smallest and the cheapest, by the way. <laughs> That's why I got it. I, 
I, I didn't get these particularly to be used. Um, I thought about it. I got them because they're 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 kind of cool, and uh, I burned I burned in all of these. Um, this one's real real nice and compact. comes with a comes with a stuff sack, and um, the lid. There's several reviews on these stoves too. You can probably find. If I find one, I'll slap it in the description. It all fits down pretty compact. You got room to store some fire starter and that kind of stuff when you stick it in the bag. And uh, the stove works very well, very well designed, very well manufactured. Like I said, it's got a solid bottom on it, so you don't have to worry about burning the ground necessarily. And it's very stable. The pot stand's very stable, even for a smaller cup like this guy. It fits on there very nicely. Even uh, that's got about the same. There's a little bit smaller stainless steel cup. It also fits. Okay, and this one uh, is made from 304 stainless steel. It's nine ounces or 255 grams. Uh, just, I, I looked all this stuff up online before I started the video, and actually this stove normally retails for, at this is the, uh, the solo stove site. So you might find them cheaper elsewhere, but anyway, they listed $89.99, but if you're interested, as of today, which is May, is it May 19, May 20? Uh, losing track of time. <laughs> uh, it's on sale for $69.99 if you're interested. They say it's a solid little stove. You can, uh, if you have the money, you can afford it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's got, it's got some nice features. It's got the, the wire base for it. It's got good vent. Now, when I was building this stove to get the to get the sizes and the holes I kind of use this as a guide this burns very well and uh, although these these holes are smaller the uh, inside of this is wider but I noticed that um, I put lots of holes in the bottom of this one for vent because I no looked at this one and it's all there's a big vent ring in there I don't know if you can probably can't really see it very well in there but it's completely air uh, has a lot of air uh, airflow in there so I put as many holes as I could in this one to give it better air and this this does perform very well and of course this was too so anyway that's the the solo stove the next one actually this is <coughs> the first one of these I bought I had a friend that showed me this one and uh, I was uh, impressed with it and I went online and at the time uh, I kind of went with this one. Weight-wise, it's a little bit heavier, but uh, it was cheaper <laughs> since I that's the one got it. Now these um, the Silver Fire is is, real, oops, is a very nice stove. Uh, it has a much nicer uh, pot stand. In fact, they improved it uh, just for comparison. This is the style it originally came with. with these little things that flipped up. They 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 weren't that good of a design. So they went with this design, which is similar to what the uh, the solo stove has. And I would have liked to go on with this type of design for this stove, but I don't have the thick enough metal to, to bend over. So anyway, this is all stainless steel. I have used this one actually out camping, and it worked very well. One of the couple of things, uh, I don't know if you've seen videos on these, but it all collapses down together. Oops. Come on. There you go. I stay in frame. Yeah, so it folds down. In fact, this will fit inside of a MSR stainless steel pot and real compact and solid built. One of the things I and then to, to put it together, this drops down. What's nice is it has this additional base on here so that you don't have to worry so much about the, uh, there you go. So you don't have to worry about uh, embers and stuff falling on the ground and scorching the ground or possibly starting a, a fire. So that's one of the nice things about it. Also, uh, it has a much deeper uh, burn chamber than the, uh, the, the less expensive Chinese made out of comparison. Let me grab my ruler. There you go. The baron chamber on this one 
Looks to be about, uh, what is that? Four and an eighth. And the one on this one is about four inches. Huh. Well, I think it's the same. Now, uh, look, that looks deeper, but that's yeah, about four and a quarter. Okay. This one is about four and a quarter. Oh, they are the same. I guess it's, uh, hmm, must be, yeah, I'm not sure why. This must be a little bit higher. But anyway, okay, they're the same. Never mind. Disregard all after. So anyway, <clears throat> now the silver fires, uh, this one weighs uh, 13 ounces, which is 368 grams. And uh, they have two models of this. I'm not sure which one I got because I bought this, eh, I don't know, four or five years ago. And um, they have two models now. They have, they have the Scout. This is called, this is the Scout. It, it's made, uh, they're, the new one, the current ones are made with 304 stainless steel. And they run, they run $69.95. Now, they have what they call an economy version, which is made from 201 stainless steel. And um, I thought I put the price down. Oh, it's on sale right now for $29.95. So it's pretty much the price of the, the economy is getting down in the ballpark of this one. Uh, one thing about the, the 304 stainless steel scout, it, the pot stand actually has five uh, fingers on it now. That, that's new. So it has five fingers, so it's it's a even more stable pot stand, and, uh, which, and it's like I said, it's made of heavier stainless. I'm not sure. I'm sure this is probably since one of the earlier stove was probably 304 stainless, but but to get it get the price down for some folks, it's uh, <clears throat> it's on sale, so that's probably a, a better you know it's a probably a better stove because you get the better pot stand, you get the little base than you will on the the inexpensive. Chinese. I think like Sad also makes one of these, and uh, so. But that's, but that's of current. That's 20, 2020. I don't know when you're watching this video. <laughs> could be in the, could be in the future now. And notice that the finish work on these is a little bit better too, which, which is to be expected. So, but anyway, this uh, very similar, but it doesn't have. See this one doesn't have a base on it so it's open to the ground so you probably should be a little be aware of what's underneath underneath you make sure you're down to the mineral soil before you burn on this so you don't have any hot embers falling through the grate and uh, starting a root fire or something but uh, and it has this style um, pot stand uh, just let me go back real quick on this uh, like I said it I saw this one on eBay for $23.99 and uh, it weighs 12.8 ounces, so really it's uh, just a hair lighter than uh, than this stove, and it's just a, a little bit cheaper. But that's 362 grams, 12.8 ounces for this one. Okay, uh, I haven't burned this one, so I, I don't know how well it does. I probably should. Maybe I will. I think maybe one of these days I'll, I should do a burn test between the two of these. I think if I did that, I'd probably use pellets because then that would make all things equal on the fuel. But uh, anyway, like I say, this this type of pot stand, eh, it's problematic. That's why Silver Fire went with this design. But even this, this is a pretty small pot, and it will fit on there. Much smaller, like this little stainless steel cup. Yeah, you're going to, eh, no go. I think originally on the silver fires you could flip these in for a smaller pot stand, but I did that and found out that it wasn't. Yeah, uh, make sure those are all the way down. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't even. Even this one was a little bit higher, so you really can't do that. So be aware of that. If you have a small pot, and you want to use one of these. Uh, get a bigger pot. <laughs> so. Anyway, uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to say. Like I say this one folds up like like the Silver Fire. Oops. Oh. There we go. These, these flip in. I'm sorry. Stay in frame. And again, it's uh, it's nice and compact. It's, it's almost an identical size to the 
silver fire, maybe just a hair smaller. But, uh, and but it does come with a uh, it did come with a mesh bag. I think the new silver fires come with this bag too. Uh, I don't think mine did. If I did, I would have had it inside. But uh, yeah, it came with a mesh sack, and also came with this little alcohol burn alcohol pan, so you could burn alcohol in it if you wanted to, and if you didn't have any uh, wood for the time. But for me, if I wanted to back up alcohol, I'd either use a transia or. I'd bring along something like uh, a fancy feast, which weighs nothing. <laughs> this one, 0.4 ounce. <laughs> so, and it's they're pretty. It's going to be a lot more burn efficient, fuel efficient than just burning alcohol in a tray. But you know, that's all you got. That's all you got. So, anyway, uh, let's see. Anything else I wanted to say on there? I think I covered. I hope I covered everything. Uh, I wasn't too fast or too rambly or missed anything. Uh, like I said, I, I, I would probably, I probably should do a burn test on these two just to, just to see how they, how they perform. A little different. I don't know that the shape of the, the holes, these all have square holes where the, these have their flame pattern, which is kind of their, their trademark for silver fire. I think the Lexatus has round holes, so anyway, so maybe I'll do a burn test comparing these two. Can't guarantee when. So uh, I think that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If something is useful. Uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and throw them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them. And uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.